Cozy friends, it's Julie, and today it is actually Saturday night, and I have spent the entire day packing boxes and cleaning my home because I'm going to be moving um, in a while, and so I have been packing up my stuff and getting the place ready for showing soon. And um, so I was just showering and sort of winding down for the night, and I realized I have not made a video for Sunday, and Sunday is one of my two days of the week that I have videos. So I was thinking, well, Saturday night, I always kind of take the time to pamper my skin and do a little bit of extra, like a moisturizing mask or something like that. So why not take the time to actually do a mask that I've never tried before? Um, this one here, actually, and share it with you guys to see you know what happens because my skin is obviously pink right now from having showered and spent the day lifting boxes and scrubbing things and heaving the vacuum around and that whole fun stuff so I may as well see if this cooling cucumber actually cools, soothes, and softens like it says that it would. Um, this is actually, I'll show you the product here. It is a sheet mask and it's cucumber, it says cool, soothe, and soften, improves and rejuvenates complexion, um, antioxidant com to combat wrinkles and damaged skin, helps to retain moisture for soft, supple skin. Um, it's from a company called Celavi, maybe Celavi, it's a play on that, I'm not really sure. Here, I'll do a, a super close-up and hope that my camera will actually, there we go, that looks like it's clear. So that's what it's called. And I'm knocking things down now. But, um, yeah, so um, I thought I've never done a sheet mask before. I've never used this before, obviously, because it's a sheet mask. I did have um, one of these in one of my giveaways, I think the December giveaway. So, um, you know, somebody has tried this before, but this is the first one for me. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to put this on, and then um, it says that you're supposed to wear it for 15 to 20 minutes. So I won't make you sit here and watch me wear this for 15 minutes. Um, I will wander around, do my thing, and then come back, and we'll see what it does to my skin, which is a little bit on the pink side right now, um, just from having been hoisting boxes and things all day, and then I just took a shower. So here we go. Okay, so the instructions say thoroughly cleanse and dry face, which I just did because I showered, take out and unfold the mask and apply on face, wear the mask for 15 to 20 minutes, and peel slowly from the edges. I do have a towel with me because my hair is still dripping because I seriously just showered. This is actually a bathrobe, but, um, and I've been warned that these things have a lot of extra moisture in them, so I'm kind of glad that I have this around, but uh, wish me luck on this. I'm just going to open this up. Okay, that was... A lot. I just like peeled it this far and it's already dripping down the side and it shot a whole pile of liquid that way. Did you see that? <laughs> okay, this is a very splashy experience. So I'm just gonna open this up and this is completely, wow, that is really slimy. So that is very goopy and very slimy. It is covered in a, a complete goo layer and if you've used these before this is probably not shocking to you and you're probably laughing at me but this is really really goopy i'm just trying to peel this apart because my fingers are getting so slimy that it's actually hard to manipulate this thing okay so the face goes this way and this is where i become extremely beautiful So hopefully this isn't triggering to anybody because this is kind of triggering to me. This is horrifying, <laughs> but it feels really nice and cooling. And the scent, it is, um, like I can smell it, but it has a definite like cucumber smell. I don't know if that's an artificial fragrance or if that's actually the smell of the ingredients. I'm thinking it's probably artificially fragranced. It does contain fragrance as the last ingredient. Can you even take me seriously if I'm talking to you looking like this? Okay, so um, now that I'm beautiful, I am going to go and chill out for 15-20 minutes and I will come back and we'll see what happens underneath and if my skin looks any calmer or better or anything. I think this can roll down more. I need more nose coverage. There we go. Right, so we'll see uh, how this turns out and if I am just stunningly beautiful and if my supermodel career is about to begin. So yeah, see you in 15-20. I'm smiling. <laughs> Hi, Rocky. 
and rosy friends. <laughs> I can barely talk in this thing. So it has been 16 minutes and 21 seconds. Uh, I don't think that's going to show. No, it's not. Plus this thing won't stay lit long enough. There we go. So that's how long it's been since um, we last checked in. And clearly I glammed this up by adding glasses to this mask. So I'm just feeling beautiful right now. Um, one thing I will say is that over time, um, this whole mask has started, it kept trying to slide down. I ha kept having to kind of shove it back up again. Otherwise, like, the, the mouth hole wouldn't align with my face. <laughs> so that was kind of not as pleasant as I was hoping. Um, but um, other than that, and me being obsessed with, like, touching it all the time, which you probably shouldn't do, um, it's actually been really kind of comfortable and cooling and... You know, not absolutely, I don't really have any complaints over it. So I'm going to take this off now. Well, I'll take off my glasses and then take this off. I think it said, like, gently peel from the sides on this instruction-y thing. Uh, wear mask for 15 to 20 minutes and peel slowly from the edges. Um, I don't know why it's still really soaking wet, um, especially on the, the, no, on the whole thing. Um, the nose part, oddly, is drying up pretty quickly, but other than that, it's pretty darn dry. <laughs> or pretty darn wet. But, um, yeah, so... Okay, sorry, when I was breathing, I can feel this thing, like, moving. <laughs> this, uh, this part here, it's, like, sucking in and out, and it's, I feel like a, like, like, uh, you know what, that frog bubble thing? Okay, enough. It's clearly late at night, and I've been working really hard today. So, yeah, I'm going to take this off now, and we'll see if my face has cooled down as much as it feels like it has. put this back in here because that is still like super slimy. Really glad that I still have this towel handy. But yeah, and it says that you're not supposed to like wipe off any of the kind of shiny stuff that's left behind on your face. So um, I'm just leaving it there to sort of dry, I guess. But um, looking in the mirror, I don't really see much of a difference between my face before I did all of this and now, um, it looks pretty much the same to me. The same in terms of redness and, uh, it feels nice and cool. Um, my face is definitely not inflamed from it because it would be burning right now. I, what I have noticed, I keep, I keep, I keep catching myself, this part right here in that kind of Cupid's bow area, um, that feels uncomfortable. Um, it feels you know that feeling when you have a cold and you've been like blowing your nose a lot and it gets like really dry and kind of warm there? It feels like that there, but that's the only place on my entire face that I have any discomfort. Um, I don't know if that's just because I have dry lips or what, <laughs> but um, it's just right here. I feel like I have a really, really warm mustache. <laughs> but um, other than that, my face is really comfortable. Um, it's still just as red as it was earlier. I haven't done my light therapy yet, so... Um, you know, that'll cool it down quite a bit from where it was from having um, been hoisting boxes and stuff all the live long day. But um, yeah, so I guess that was okay. Um, if I notice over time that there are any kind of reactions to it or if my skin really won't calm down or something like that, then I'll put some, I'll put a little mention like on the screen here or in the description box for this video. But um, actually I'm I'm quite comfortable with that. That's something that I would do again. I think it was $1.25 Canadian, which means that it's around a dollar US. So that's not bad at all for just a, a nice little relaxing mask. Um, it's supposed to be hydrating. It was definitely cooling when it was on. And, uh, well, as long as I don't end up with a big red mustache, then I will be happy. So, yeah. So I would say that this was nice and cooling for um, on rosacea-prone skin, especially when it was kind of heated up from... I'm not in a flare-up right now, but it is kind of flushed at the moment just from everything that I've been doing. But, um, yeah, I would, I would call that successful because... Um, it certainly didn't cause a flare-up, <laughs> and um, it was comfortable when it was on, so I don't really know what, what else I could say about it than that. But, um, yeah, so I hope you liked this video. I hope it was informative. I hope it was entertaining in some way. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this and everything else that I've been trying on my rosacea-prone skin, then I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. I do make new videos every Sunday and Thursday. And other than that, I will see you next time.